As leader of the PUP, uh, I had a meeting tonight with senior police uh, and I brought a delegation from East Belfast with me to the PUP to discuss the issues and the problems that have existed in East Belfast during the flag protest. One of the things we talked about was the zero tolerance from police in East Belfast compared to the other areas around those protesters. Uh, and we have said very categorically that uh, any abuses to the police, uh, that we would want people to come forward and lodge your complaints through the proper process. The other thing we talked to the police about was in terms of their public order uh, restrictions on parades uh, and uh, we had a, a lengthy discussion about that and I think that, that what we need to do is that we need to look at how we actually keep people safe who are in protests uh, and some of our people on the ground, uh, particularly in East Belfast, will be working with people uh, on the protest to actually try to give them the right advice around some of this Public Order Act. Uh, the PUP would also like to, to welcome the Church Initiative, which I think was started by the Reverend Mervyn Mer Mer Gibson of the Westburn Church in Eaton Orge Road. And I think of what happened today with uh, people coming together to have a, a, a mature discussion around what needs to happen uh, has been a, a great step forward because I think that uh, what happened there was that people have now got a strategy uh, about challenging the police uh, and actually looking at the protest. So I think that that's very welcomed uh, and the PUP would be totally supportive of that and would want to actually make a contribution in some way. One of the things that uh, as leader of the PUP and the Progressive Unionist Party in East Belfast has been concerned about is uh, some sort of isolation policy uh, about trying to isolate East Belfast from the rest of the protesters across Northern Ireland. Let me assure people in East Belfast that the PUP will not stand by and allow East Belfast to be isolated. The PUP will work with the people in East Belfast to actually ensure that they're part of this and they're treated like every other part of Northern Ireland's protesters. But I do want to reiterate that what we want to see is peaceful protests and we also want to see people who are organising protests coming up with a strategy and outcomes that actually need to be got to. Because we need to move uh, to the next level, whatever that level is, uh, while the protests continue, we need to be doing other things. And I would hope that in terms of the initiative that's coming from Stormout, that that happens soon and it allows us to actually move forward in a very positive way.